What's going on, y'all? This is OBB, the Diecast News Guy, and uh, yeah, we are uh, here for a very special video. Uh, if you guys like countdown videos or ranking videos, then this is probably the one for you guys. Now, you guys know me. I mean, I'm I am you know a big NASCAR fanatic and critique of uh, you know the NASCAR Authentics line from Lionel Racing, and I decided since you know the 20 all the 2021 waves have officially come to a close, I decided hey, why not? Let's go ahead and get my ranking because I know in every live reaction video I say, oh, this is the best wave, this is the best wave, but. Now I really want, I just, I don't know, I had to sit down and I had to think about this for like the few, uh, for the past few days or so or months. And, uh, Mac, I finally got together, uh, what my official rankings are. So we'll be ranking that all 13 waves in NASCAR Authentics 2021 from Line of Racing. And, um, you know, take this with no grain of salt, guys. Um, these are basically my opinions and I'm not expecting your, my ranking to be as the same as y'all's. So, I mean, if you guys, you know, totally disagree or agree with me, that's totally fine. But for the sake of this video, guys, I just want to make that disclaimer before we start because some be like this wave is better than the other wave but heck just wanted to sh showcase that for you guys but without further ado and make sure to comment below what you guys are or your official rankings are when we get later in this video but without further ado let's go ahead and kick off the top nascar that uh, nascar authentics die cast rankings for 2021 so coming in dead last of the nascar authentics 2021 ranks uh this is wave 13 guys this is the wave that i think a lot of people shocked because usually i mean the one and only wave 13 <laughs> i would say one and only because this is the one and only time we've had wave 13 um in an official nascar authentics wave we've only had 12 waves so this is definitely a shock but another big surprise is that this thing is on the ptc mold which you guys know is probably the worst quality control you can ever get on nascar diecast 164 i know i say that a lot about you know most of these but this is just absolutely bad so if you guys notice by these pictures right here these cars look a lot more different especially if you guys are the hardcore nascar authentics collectors um yeah the ptc mold cars are well known for their hatred and quality control i mean just look at the side by side differences between these cars and the el cars um it is just bright and day of what just uh, what really makes these cars stand out and just any way worse shape and passion and can't believe lineup brought this way back um they they brought this mold back for a second time after the abysmal peg warmers that we had from 2018 wave 12 but to summarize what the ptc mold is guys okay think of the el mold and just completely just take every nice little detail that you like about this car and just throw it away in the trash all right you got yourselves an inaccurate mold uh just look at the chevrolet camaros they're not even in the right mold they have the shortest spoiler and the pointed nose is on the front um explains why we don't have a ford mustang mold in this wave because heck they don't have the tooling for it and the tires are just fat and ugly and they just look really bad and how they apply the decals just looks so bad it even looks like a kindergarten like created i mean look look at those decal lines those decal lines just look awful you can clearly see where they applied them and that's just for a professional uh company that you know makes nascar die kiss that's quite sad and it's even bad that Lionel even said that this is the one only time they are going to uh, use this wave ever again. I mean, they still didn't really give us a good reason why they use this, but this is just a... I would say a pretty bad marketing fail and anybody who probably has to pay more than retail price for this then heck i say you guys are just uh probably not the smartest people in this world but it's a shame because we do got ourselves like two exclusives in this wave but uh, with the christopher bell car and the austin dillon car but um it just sucks man it does because you know i mean it's not as bad as what we had from wave uh 12 of 2018 because those were filled with exclusives but just i'm disappointed but heck you know it's definitely easily the worst wave of nascar authentics 2021 by far So coming in at number 12 of NASCAR Authentics 2021 ranking, it is the All-Star Wave, also known as Wave 1 of NASCAR Authentics 2021. So yeah, the All-Star Wave, I mean, there's a little funny story behind this. I mean, there was actually like, what I think a random user on Reddit or Instagram, like they kind of made like a little, uh, like what, like a random post about this. Like uh, someone kind of predicted the future with this. Like, oh, what do we get an All-Star Wave? Like, because, you, know, you know, the All-Star cars, uh, they had like the numbers pushed back, which a lot of people didn't really like. This is before, you know, the whole number ch change came into play. And I said it once and I said it before, you know, I'm still not a big fan of the number placement but um, yeah I mean this wave definitely did came true and I know a lot of people were not excited and it was definitely uh, not the best wave to start off for the new uh, for the new year for 2021 and um, yeah I mean plus just I don't know guys I mean I know some people are probably used to this now and people are gonna be like well you know these are one-of-a-kind diecast you know we're gonna probably um, we're probably going to see these you know drive in value very soon I mean they definitely are starting to a little bit I only have one in my collection but um, 
I'm not a big fan of just how these cars look, guys. I mean, I think all these look pretty ugly, and especially how just how the just I think just the the paint schemes just look really lazy. I mean, unlike the next gen car, I the the, the paint schemes actually do look different with the different car and the number placement looks so much better forwards i mean backwards guys i think the main reason why i just do not like the the number backwards um just because of the just uh, the the, uh, the overlap uh, where the wheel weld is, I mean, it, it just makes the number and the decal just overlap and look so bad. Um, I think the only ones that look really well on this wave are I think the Ryan Blaney and the Kyle Busch cars, but all the other ones, I mean, including that Johnson car and the Aircom roller car, whoo, those things are ugly. But I think that's just because I mean, yes, it is a special wave, and this is the first uh, one of the first few times we've had Lionel do like an all special wave. I mean, I think the last time we had something like that was like the Dawn's Throwbacks, but I mean, it was cool idea, but just. I think this was just a poor execution and just probably wasn't needed, but this is just my opinion after all, if this is number 12. So coming in at number 11 of the NASCAR Authentics 2021 ranking, it has to go to wave number three. And yeah, this is definitely another wave that I think was just, uh, I don't know. I mean, it's not as bad as the all-star car uh, wave and uh, the PTC mold wave that we have for 13, but I just feel like that this wave just had a lot of missed opportunities as this was actually the first official wave that we got ourselves some 2021 diecast um but i think some of the choices that they had were pretty underutilized i mean we do have a lot of cool paint schemes in this wave um especially even some cars from 2020 like the kyle bush skittle zombie car which is a great car to get um but some of these paint schemes have been kind of reused before and they brought them back for, uh, you know, they, did, they pretty much came unchanged. Uh, I'm looking at the, uh, you know, both Penske diecast of Ryan Blaney's Dex Imaging and the Joey Logano Shell Pennzoil Ford Mustang and the Eric Amarillo Smithfield. Um, the only two diecasts that are pretty new for the 2021 um, for this wave are the uh, the Roush cars. And I think both look cool and I probably are the only ones that stand out. And lip color variant does look good on this. But just on, I feel like that this wave is just a little underutilized to promote as the first ever 2021 um, NASCAR Authentics wave with 2021 diecast not much variety i mean we only have only fords but heck most of the fords were announced before uh, you know the chevys and the toyotas but just very underwhelming in my opinion i will say that but just not a bad wave but just i don't know in compared to the next few ways that we're gonna be showcasing i think this one just is like i said not as bad as the previous two but just underwhelming to say at the least so coming in at number 10 of the nascar authentics 2021 ranking it's got to go to wave four guys looks like we're definitely counting in forwards uh but yeah some of these early waves guys just have not been really been a big fan of but wave four in particular man um it's another wave that we do get some more ford mustangs with 2021 cars um but just still not much variety but it is a little bit better than what we got for wave three um especially since we do got some exclusives in this wave like the michael and net uh pilot flying j car from 2021 that's a really cool uh die cast right there usually a lot of the junior motorsports die cast get canceled so that's cool that we were able to get this as a true exclusive and the Bragg's LC discount tire uh Ford Mustang I mean this was actually a Donson throwback from 2020 but they also brought it back as a primary for 2021 and it is exclusive as well so I thought those were really two cool exclusives but some of the other other ones are pretty cool I mean you got you know a brand new look for Ryan Blaney's Moen Menards I mean I mean definitely a great car to add and a new look for the Hunt Brothers Pizza car so we do got a lot of new look and paint schemes but um and we do got some champion uh winners as well guys we uh we actually got Sheldon Creed's uh champion truck and Austin Sendrick's uh champion money line champion as well but just i'm not a big fan of the champion die cast um i feel like the sheldon creed truck probably i mean it's cool we got a sheldon creed truck but as you guys know i'm not a big fan of the championship logos that are on top of the cars uh just really kind of kills the value for me i think this would have been a better selection if it was the race to win because he did one in this truck as well and um i know it would not be exclusive because it made in the gold series but just i don't know guys i feel like it would have been a little bit better but um and plus there are some die casts that we already have seen in previous ways like the kyle bush interstate batteries car from 2020 one uh, in 2020 they're pretty much identical um it, it's just some slight differences and how many times have we seen you know the 21 motorcraft car in the nascar authentic wave yeah i mean sorry to ditch on matt matt, matt de benedetto fans but just um i'm tired of looking at this car on the nascar authentic wave um it's basically just like a 2020 car um but i mean like i said it's definitely a lot better than wave three because we do have more uh variety and paint schemes but still in the same dilemma that just i don't know i mean nothing it just really kind of excites me uh besides the exclusives and i think there were some missed opportunities in this wave but it definitely is a little bit better than wave three um for that good reason 
So coming in at number nine of the NASCAR Authentics 2021 ranking, it is Wave 10 of NASCAR Authentics 2021. So yeah, Wave 9, I must say, I mean, the, the, the later waves, as we got later on into these waves for 2021, they have got good. But I don't know, I feel like that this one, I think, is probably the most disappointing later wave that we got. Um, just because I think that just the, the bottom line is, is that there were a lot of missed opportunities, but more importantly, only one exclusive in this wave. Now, I'm not saying, you know, you have to go all out and just make a whole entire wave exclusives, but that's the beauty of NASCAR Authentics. And the only exclusive that we got in this wave is the Austin Cindric Car Shop car, which, you know, it's a cool paint scheme, but I mean, it's, you know, nothing too flashy or crazy. Like, oh my God, I got to get that car. I mean, it is exclusive, so I know people are going to like this, but, um, I, I think another, but there are some cool JGR paintings that we got. I mean, we do got, you know, uh, Kyle Busch and Christopher Bell and a really cool looking Denny Hamlin car. Um, the Ryan Newman Kohler Generators car, I don't mind this car. It does look cool, but just this car waited so long to get released in NASCAR Authentics. And I think this car actually, um, what, like uh, the, this NASCAR Authentics wave came out in the fall. And this thing was already released back in the Gold Series, like back in like August or like summertime, y'all. So, um... I just don't not like that. I mean, if you guys do want to save some money, I guess that's cool. Um, but just, I don't know, guys. I mean, most of these cars you can get in the Gold Series, which, I mean, kind of defeats a piece of purpose, maybe. Uh, maybe. But, um, and like I said, guys, I mean, I am, I, I'm glad we finally got a front row motorsports diecast in this way. But I feel like that this should have been the Daytona 500 winner um, and not the free auctions car. But we will be talking about that car very soon. Um, and you guys know me. I'm not a big fan of Alex Bowman throwback. I think that's an ugly throwback and sad it's in this wave. Some people might like it. The, the lip color car does look cool. And we got a junior car as well. But just, I don't know. I mean, this wave just, it feels not bad but it is a little on the weak side just because you know just that just because of those obvious reasons i just mentioned So coming in at number eight of NASCAR Authentics 2021 ranking, it's got to go to, ironically, I'm not shitting you guys, Wave 8. How about that? <laughs> uh, I guess I like some Illuminati confirmed shit right there. But yeah, Wave 8 of NASCAR Authentics 2021 is number eight. And um, I must say, I mean, the, the selections on this are pretty darn cool. We do got, you know, some familiar paint teams like the Ryan Blaney Advanced Auto Parts car. I know that's, uh, that's something that I know Blaney fans will like, even though it is a paint team that's been, you know, released three times now which is you know pretty excessive you know how much i get annoyed with you know a painting that gets re-released so many times um but um I, uh, we do got some good selection in this like i think the eric jones tie ride car is like fantastic selection and we got alex bowman um another daniel suarez car with the camping world the ross chastain mcdonald's car i'm not really a big fan of um i think this paint scheme is probably one of the weirdest and ugliest paintings i've seen um it just i'm not a big fan of that and the exclusive that we got in this wave guys i think it's only one if i'm not mistaken it's the mark traction stanley car which is really cool but if you already got the uh, christopher bell and the Kyle Busch car it's uh, you know it's a cool car to get um i'm glad that they actually made this guys but we do got you know some a lot of familiar drivers and how can i forget guys we got ourselves an austin centric cup car i think this is the main reason why i think this wave absolutely is cool um and it's you know it's it's number eight for a lot of good reasons but some of these paint schemes are cool and um it, it's a pretty solid wave i will say that i mean it's not bad not terrible it's somewhere in the middle um i say this wave is um not bad So coming in at number seven in the NASCAR Authentics 2021 ranking, it's got to go to Wave 9, guys. And I think this is a wave that I think a lot of people were really excited about. Um, this is where we started getting a lot of throwbacks getting thrown into this wave. So uh, this one, I think, is going to be a very popular one. Um, I think the, the the two cars that really do stand out in this wave are the exclusives. So we got, you know, of course, the Josh Berry Tire Pros Dale Jr. throwback from his 2001 days um, when he won that Daytona uh, night race. It was like the Pepsi 400 or so. What an option. Absolutely amazing paint scheme that was canceled in the gold series for the 1C4 scale and the saving grace in NASCAR Authentics. They just love saving those junior motorsports diecast. So this is yet another great example, just like the Michael Net car um, from the previous few waves. Um, and then you got your subs, you know, not too exciting, but still pretty cool. Uh, Austin Dillon, uh, Bass Pro Shops primary, really cool. And, you know, some of these paint schemes might look pretty are familiar. I mean, we do got ourselves, yeah, you know, the obvious, like a Dale Jr., uh, the Dale Jr. Uh, Xfinity ride that he runs, like, uh, one race every year. And the Chase Elliott Hooters throwback. So a, a lot of popular paint schemes, I think, you know, we kind of were going to see. So kind of predictable, but still it's cool. I mean, we do also got, you know, some nice first looks um, of the Bubba Wallace McDonald scheme. Um, but I will say one thing, though. This wave has the worst liquid color. And I would probably 
say that I that this probably should have been like on you know, a lower on the list, but I I don't I don't just rank go wave in terms of lip color because heck at the end of the day who the hell's gonna find lip color car? <laughs> but just they decided to make the lip color white, which is just weird. It kind of is the same mistake that they made with the Chase Elliott I Racing Charlotte truck uh, in the Gold Series from 2020. So I don't know why they decided to do that. I think the red would have been a lot better. But luckily we do have a lot more Bubble Wallace lip colors in future waves but um heck if you, you guys love your throwbacks this is definitely a wave i recommend getting and we also do get a kevin harvick uh truck as well so i mean just just some good variety i will say another solid wave but definitely is a lot better than the mentioned waves i just uh, that i just showed Coming in at number six of the NASCAR Authentics 2021 ranking, it's got to go to wave number seven. Now, this wave, I can definitely tell you what, guys, this is definitely when, when the ranking starts getting a little more harder because I will say wave seven is a pretty impressive wave. I mean, we do get ourselves a lot of great variety in this. We got a lot of cool, uh, you know, different uh, cup cars, some primaries, and we do got, you know, some cool secondary and um, a lot of cool different schemes. Um, as you see right there, I mean, we do got the, you know, finally the fan favorite Kyle Larson tennercars.com car. This is the one that I think a lot of people have been waiting for and finally got it released and you know we do got a lot of cool favorites as well we got you know um we do got a car that is kind of a peg warmer like the uh ryan blaney body armor scheme it is a popular car but tech this is like the second or third time we've seen this car in a wave um and we got ourselves a cool looking danny hamlin offer pad car i mean something that's not fedex that's pretty darn cool and then we get you know the night owl car from chase elliott pretty obvious but another junior motorsports diecast that was canceled this is the white variant of the uh brant scheme for justin algar and you know we haven't seen a justin algar car in god knows how long so it's pretty cool that we finally got one in nascar tennis because most of his die cases get canceled, so that's a cool exclusive we got in this wave. And just a lot of bright, colorful paint schemes in this wave, guys. I think this one just has a lot of cool variety in terms of color. And then you got, you know, the Armor All car from uh, Eric Jones, which is a really nice one. And the Menard scheme, um, Menard's Dutch Boy with Matt Benetto. Another Stanley car, which, you know, is, I believe, is another, uh, well, that's not exclusive. That is actually in the Gold Series as well. And the Craftsman car and a really cool lip color, just so much great variety guys but i just love the uh, the broad spectrum of the colors that we got in this wave because this one i think just really stands out when you're going by the toy aisle you'll be like whoa these are some hot looking cars so definitely it's a great wave and definitely deserves to be in the number six spot So coming in at number five of the NASCAR Authentics ranking for 2021, it's got to go to, ironically, Wave 5. All right, high five, y'all. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, this wave, I will say, man, I mean, Wave 6 was really cool, and I kept going back and forth, be like, all right, which wave deserves to be in the top five? I mean, the, the Wave 5 and Wave 6 were, like, this close to each other. But I just kept thinking to myself, you know, we haven't had a good wave yet um, for the early uh, for the early waves in terms of like, you know, a good variety of 2021 primary paint schemes. This wave, I must say, finally gives us that with the disappointments that we have from wave three and wave four. Um, wave five finally delivered, guys, and we got ourselves a great variety of brand new looking paint schemes for 2021. Um, not just two, but I think this whole wave, I think, is all new paint schemes. And this is really cool, guys. Um, my God, we got ourselves, you know, the three Gibbs cars, and they're all new looking paint schemes. Kyle Busch, Truex, and Christopher Bell. And we do got, you know, the Lumar window film car, which I know I'm not a big fan of, but it is a new paint scheme for Chase Elliott, and he did one in this at Coda, so it's cool for the chase elliott fans but we even got ourselves a die cast that we were not even expecting to see get released until fall and it got released so dang early i don't know how lionel did this but i love it when they do this in nascar authentics the braxowski frontliner car this thing is like I, I i can't believe that this car came out this early uh the ship reports like i said like kind of lied to us but nascar authentics said hey you know let's introduced this thing very early and it definitely did a good job because a lot of people were hyped about that brad car and the rest of this wave does look really cool guys we do got you know the bubble wallace uh show car for 2311 uh cole custers um alex bowman's ally car which i know was the wrong purple that they used but still a lot of people were excited about this paint team and later on they did fix the purple the purple's supposed to be a little more darker than what it is on camera but it's not like a like as bad as what i thought in the william byron exalted scheme just i like i said guys this wave deserves to be in the top five because this is the best wave to get to start off your 2021 collection and that's probably a damn good reason why it is in the top five i mean awesome for wave five to be number five in this list 
So coming in at number four of the NASCAR Authentics 2020 ranking, it is wave number six. And yeah, this wave, I, again, like I said with the last two guys, um, when we got to wave four, five, and six, they were just non-stop stellar. And I just kept going back and forth like I did with the other two. I was like, all right, man, I like this way better. No, I like this way better. No, I like this way better. This is the part of the video where a lot of people's opinions are going to change. And I totally cannot, you know, disagree or agree with you all. Um, I just thought that wave six deserved to be a little bit better than wave four um, or wave five, just because um, the variety guys, we got ourselves a lot of cool looking 2021 schemes, but let me, this is more of like teams that you really do not really see much in, you know, NASCAR tennis guys. Let me sure you see Gibbs and you see, um, you know, Henrik, but here you got yourselves Ganassi Junior Motorsports, um, freaking yo Hattori Racing. I mean, what? I mean, this is some great variety, guys. But like I said, yeah, um, we do got ourselves a, an exclusive truck in this wave with Austin Hill and the United Rentals Toyota Tundra for Hattori Racing. Um, another Kyle Larson car. That actually, this is the first Kyle Larson car that was released in NASCAR Authentic, so a lot of people were really hyped about this. And uh, this is a great sequel to go with Wave Five because you do get the Chase Elliott car and the Kyle Larson car. Uh, Noah Gregson's uh, Black Rifle uh, Bass Pro Shop. Uh, coffee car uh, really cool um, and I mean you do got both uh, and you do got both Ganassi cars as well which you guys know I mean those two cars are going to be pretty uh, uh, you know pretty much going to be dried up in value now since you know Chip Ganassi is no longer in uh, NASCAR so I mean it was cool to finally get you know not only Kurt Busch's gear wrench car and it is a new scheme um, we've had his gear wrench cars released but also the Clover car and then we got ourselves you know another Mark Truex Jr. car and a first primary paint scheme for Bubba Wallace and the DoorDash scheme that is really cool but also a first for um, Daniel Suarez guys but also this wave is so cool because we, we do got ourselves the first new teams in NASCAR 2311 racing and Trackhouse racing their first ever diecast were in this wave and I think that's probably a damn good reason why this is on this list because there were a lot just a lot of new stuff that was in this wave so uh wave six is definitely an awesome wave So coming in at number three of the NASCAR Authentics 2021 ranking, it's got to go to wave number 11. And, you know, we've had a good session so far of, like, what the diecast is coming out. But like I said earlier on in this video, guys, as soon as we got to the later uh, waves, I mean, they've just been absolutely stellar and absolutely surprising. But let me tell you what, man, wave 11 was definitely the wave that was just full of a lot of surprises. Um, and a lot of people are like, well, why is it not number one? I mean, if it's so surprising, why is that number one? Because I think there are two other waves that are better than this. But wave 11, man, I'm just going to say it. This wave is just the wave for underdogs, all right? Yeah, we do got some familiar guys like Kevin Harvick and Kyle Busch and Bubba Wallace. But look, we got ourselves, you know, a core of the joy throwback with the Xerox uh, sponsorship. That's an awesome throwback, by the way. Probably one of the best throwbacks. Uh, a Jordan Anderson truck. The mac and cheese truck. After all, I, 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 here I am thinking that it was going to be the Daytona truck raced uh, version that uh, the, uh, that he ran second in. Uh, no, this was the Bobby and Roger Ray use. And how can I forget about the two exclusives in this wave, guys? These these two exclusives were just absolutely surprising. We got ourselves the return of a Toyota Supra with Ty Gibbs. Whether you love him or hate him, this was absolutely just a warm welcome to have in this list, guys. Um, we thought the Toyota Supras were never going to return in diecast form because they always get canceled, but this was a warm welcome, especially with a rising superstar like Ty Gibbs. And a Joey Gaze Rick Rare Racing diecast, guys. I cannot believe that, guys. If you guys had asked me a million years that we were going to see a Joey Gaze car in the NASCAR Tennis Wave, I would think you're on some serious crack or drugs. But this this is such a cool throwback and tribute scene that we had for uh, Davey Allison and I know a lot of old school fans are going to go after this car and we do our subs you know some cool military paintings as well with Eric Jones and Alex Bowman and another cool lit color car I mean some people are going to be annoyed that's another bubble wall lit color car but um this wave man like I said the wave of the underdogs this is just something that you just Probably, I hope we can see more of in future 2022 NASCAR Authentics waves. Um, just alone, that Ty Gibbs and the Joey Gaze car, I think, is the main reason why that this wave is better. But since there's only two exclusives, that's probably the reason why it is a little more uh, lower than higher. But I'll give you guys some good reasons of why the other two are just a little bit better. In our runner-up spot for the NASCAR Authentics 2021 ranking, it's got to go to Wave 12 of NASCAR Authentics 2021. Yes, this wave, let me tell you what, man. Wave 11 had a lot of cool variety, but it only had two exclusives. But this wave just said, hey, you know what? People want more exclusives. Hell, let's give them exclusives. 
I'm talking not one, not two, not three, six exclusives are in this wave. And that is just absolutely amazing. Now, a lot of people who are probably new will be like, well, what's so exclusive about these cars? Well, the reason why I say exclusive is because um, these cars were originally canceled in the Gold Series 164 uh, box cars that you can get online or at the your diecast dealers or at the race haulers. Um, all the, the, these six cars that are in this wave, mostly a, a, a good majority, I'd say 75% of this wave are exclusives, which is so cool because I think that's the main selling point why people like buying these nascar tennis cars because you know it gives them a good reason to go out or unless you want to actually save some money as well i mean it is a much more budget friendly option but guys look at this guys we got ourselves you know uh, some penske die casts that are only going to be made in this scale if you get it in this wave guys the braxowski east e cascadia car look at me i can't even pronounce it because i'm so excited uh, talking about these cars and the ryan blaney advanced auto parts uh rusty wallace tributes uh, we got ourselves a ryan priest hunt brothers pizza truck i wish it was on the race diversion uh that he won in nashville but still cool and a Kyle Busch minis car um the eminence minis car that he won at pocono um that was not even offered in the gold series so just so much variety um in terms of the exclusives that we got so we do got you know some cool uh cars as well they can get in the gold series like the kevin harvick mobile one salutes car and just oh my god guys i mean you got you know some more exclusives like uh, uh we do got another dan schwarz car and the michael mcdowell day 2500 car finally but mark trickstrings bristol dirt truck win i know that one is gonna be a fan favorite and the matt Benetto throwback that he ran at the second Donaldson race. Um, a nice little tribute to Elliott Sandler's 2001 Bristol win. That is so cool, guys. But just this wave is just... If I had nicknamed this wave, it is the wave of exclusives because these are just some amazing exclusives. And this is the main reason why I love NASCAR things because you got yourselves just, you know die cast that i guess you could say we're saved because of this wave and i think i think this is probably I, I, mostly everyone's number one pick this is probably everyone's number one pick but you're probably like well what the hell is more better than a wave full of exclusives we'll probably get to that guys right now and coming in at number one as the best nascar authentic wave of 2021 in my humble opinion it's got to be Wave 2, also known as the Raced Win Wave. So yeah, this wave, holy crap, guys. We got ourselves a whole wave dedicated to Race Win Diecast. And a lot of people are like, well, what's so special about this? Well, as you guys know, I mean, usually when we get Race Win Diecast made in the 164 scale, it's usually on popular drivers like Chase Elliott or Dale Jr. Or sometimes we'll have a team that will request it. But this wave absolutely just went all out. And I think what, like, I think... This had the amount, the same amount of exclusives as it did for Wave 12, guys. Six, six, six out of the eight cars that are in this wave. I mean, yeah, I know the first two waves of NASCAR Thanks 2021 didn't have late colors, but heck, I mean, I don't really care. I mean, it just shows you that this wave was kind of like scalperless for, uh, you know, the damn scalpers. <laughs> but, um... Let me tell you what, man, that we got ourselves in a, a good variety of uh, uh, paint schemes as well. But I know some people are not a big fan of the race win die cast. Some people like the primaries, but heck, you know, I, I've seen all the comments and I see what the general public love, guys. People love their race win die cast, guys. And I know the 124 scale die casts are getting a little more expensive. They're like $72 now for a race win uh, 124. So if you guys want to be a little more friendlier with your wallet uh race one with 60 boards are where it's at guys and i can tell there's a big demand i can see why this wave was so popular because heck we you guys know how many race win die casts we're getting for 2022 i think well like every race so far in the cup series and maybe xfinity are getting a race one 64 and most of them are getting made so it just shows you that people love race win die casts and i hope to god we got we are in for another race win wave for the start of nascar authentics 2022 because this wave is just phenomenal you guys so you know some fan favorites like you know we do got you know two two chase elliott cars that you know of course were produced in the 164 scale gold series but we got ourselves you know joey logano's las vegas win bragzowski's bristol win i mean my lord grand eight figures daytona win i mean hot how does that happen guys that's just random so random and i love it cole custer's kentucky win i mean lordy have mercy march extremes martinsville win oh my god uh ryan blaine's talladega win i mean just there's so much good variety in the race win 164s and i know some people are gonna disagree and be like i don't think this is the best way because i don't like race wins but that's your opinion in my opinion i absolutely love race wins and like i said I'm hoping we're going to see more of this because I think this is that this is cool when uh, you know Lionel does this. I mean, and I'm this is actually a special wave that I hope to God we see more very soon. But that's all I got to say about this wave, guys, and this wave ranking. So you know, like I said, you guys can disagree or agree with me on my rankings, but comment below, guys, what do you guys think about this and. 
more importantly, uh, if you guys want to list your rankings down below in the comments, so go ahead because I do want to hear your guys' opinion on that. But anyways, guys, this has been OBB, the IKS News Guy. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment, like, subscribe, and this has been OBB. See you guys next time back on the Reunion Station.